guys welcome back to elite tech media alternative um, today i'll be talking about the windows performance issues and the ways you can speed up your system all right if you're using old computer with four gig of memory even less than that the best upgrade you will ever do is buying an ssd drive right but this is this, this is just one of the examples this is sandisk extreme this is this is an awesome hard drive they, they look at them the price is like 44 dollars right and this is the best upgrade you will do on your system right um I remember seeing these drives back in the day when they first came out as 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 high as two hundred fifty dollars, right? Only for hundred twenty gig version. Now we can even pick them up the one terabyte hard drive like one of these for like as low as as low as four hundred dollars. So this is probably one of the best upgrades you will do, right? They I have one of these installed on my computer as my boot drive. My system boots up in like five seconds. No joke. With all these running. Another thing to do is install the CC cleaner, right? And use the cleaner option here you can remove many different things here like cookies and um, internet explorer cache and all the junk from firefox and that uh, first of all you're going to save your space and it's going to improve random access you know you're going you're to be able to run your, your your software much faster all right uh just keep in mind that if you go advanced make sure that you do your research before you click any of these because some of these can really um mess up your system i experienced that myself right as you can see here, you can use Firefox, Windows Store, applications, and many different things, right? You can use to clean up the mess, right? I recommend running this once a week. Another thing you can do regis registry cleaner, right? I don't, I'm not really a big fan of these, but if you if you wanna use them, you can scan for the issues. But before you repair anything, make sure you back up your system, back up the registry. It gives you the options, like let's say example, like I'm scanning right now, like. The, these things are like really unnecessary to remove right but if when i see when i click uh fix selected issue it gives me option they want to back it up i say click yes and save it up and then you can fix all the issues if you really want you know honestly the performance increase is not existent in my opinion I, I, I don't i don't really see anything be aware of these registry cleaners there's may, very many up there and a lot of them are actually viruses I remember a few day, a few years ago when I was naive and stupid to believe that these actually speed up your system, but actually done. So now I don't really use it. I just use it now to show you guys how it works. But if you're not experienced, I highly recommend you not touch this. Just move away from it. Tools, st startup, right? This is why CC Cleaner is good. You have all these different options here. It's crazy. Startup, you can, you can disable these things from running with your system in when you boot it up and you speed up your system a lot some of these some of these things can actually slow down your system by like as as as, as much as 10 seconds like you know 10 here 10 here 10 there adds up to a minute you know disk analyzer you can analyze the disk space on your hard drives uh duplicate find i don't really use this system restore you can manage your restore points here i don't really have this install uh enable my computer just to save uh memory on my hard drive another thing to do is def defragment your hard drive right you can optimize your drives to help your computer run more efficiently and on all of them find if they need optimizing right you can run these once 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 a month you know if you have a hard drive if you have a ssd drive you don't uh, you can't um defragment them you can only optimize them right when i click on a, on a, on a hard drive you can do it services right services uh really for for more advanced people if you're using windows xp there's a plenty of tutorials online how to which services to disable which ones not in windows 10 you don't you don't really need to do this they they really put a lot of effort into into uh disabling things that things that you don't need so you can play around with that to see what works for you why not but make sure you do system restore point before you start or just back up your whole system because disabling one of these can cause problems later on um another thing that's about it really is it yeah so yeah another thing um make sure that you do not install shit that you don't need to use right um just install the t install the things that you use and that's it like don't don't try make different softwares and this and that if you really if you're really keen to try different softwares i recommend using a virtual uh, machine that way you can test out the things that you you're not really sure about you know but and another thing to do don't do not install many of the security softwares because if if you have too many of them running in real time it will cause a lot of issue um 
later on you know you you will you will see like you know your computer will start slowing down you, you're gonna have random um errors popping up everywhere so yeah that's one of them that's it that's it that's about it guys um just the rule number one is do the windows updates as well windows updates only do, do not install unnecessary junk use the cc cleaner to clean up your system once a week clean up the malware as well using the softwares that i mentioned in the, in the previous video i will link it down below make sure you check it out and that's about it anyway uh, stay safe guys and uh, subscribe for more, for more if you can thank you very much